Hey, if you use basic roadmaps or advanced roadmaps in Jira, then you're going to want to watch this video as I'm going to cover some of the new changes that are either already deployed to your Jira or are going to be coming very soon to your Jira. Are you tired of manual backups when it comes to Jira Cloud? If you've ever tried to backup Jira Cloud, then you know that it's not the most intuitive thing in the world. Well, let me introduce you to Rewind Backups for Jira Cloud. This app is made by my good friends over at Rewind, and it basically automates your backups in Jira Cloud. Now, it takes a few minutes to set up, and after that, you can enjoy manual or automated backups, and your data will never be lost ever again. Use the link in the description below to start a free trial. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, drop a like if you get value out of this video, and if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know in the comment section down below. Let's jump into Jira. So first, I'm gonna talk about three different changes that are gonna be coming to your Jira. If not, they're already probably there. So number one, when you go to a company managed Scrum style or Kanban style software project, so that's a mouthful, but basically if you're in a company managed Jira software project, then you may have noticed that instead of basic roadmap over here, you now have a timeline. This is not a very big change. This is actually quite a subtle change. They basically renamed it. Everything else has stayed pretty much consistent. There aren't a whole lot of changes happening here. And so the look and feel and everything that you've known about the basic roadmap still applies and it's basically all still there. But when we go over to the advanced roadmaps, things get a little bit more interesting here. Now this feature, I need to remind you, is a Jira premium only feature. So if you're not on the premium version of Jira, none of this is going to apply to you, but hopefully you stick around and watch it because the functionalities here are actually kind of cool and they do make upgrading and essentially doubling your bill worth it. So make sure you pay attention because maybe you don't use this functionality, but it might entice you. Now, one of the reasons why I decided to do this video is because an advanced roadmap tutorial that I have from last summer is actually one of my more popular videos. So I figured I'd let you know what's changed since last year when I made that video. So over to the advanced roadmaps, you're gonna go to plans. Now it's really, really easy to know if you have the advanced roadmap capability because you're gonna see this section here in your Jira navigation called plans. So go ahead and click on that. And then you're gonna to wanna to go into a plan. This is where things have now changed. The user interface on the left-hand side of Jira has changed drastically. This is now redesigned to feel and look more like the rest of the Atlassian products that Confluence and Jira. So this section right here is just gonna let you navigate across your different advanced roadmap. And one of the coolest settings, I think in my opinion, is the fact that you can now get to your plan settings super, super easy by simply clicking on this plan settings. And again, this feels more natural. It feels more like the space settings and Confluence and the project settings inside of Jira because before you had to go and like click on a little gear next to the name and it was just like, it wasn't very clear. So I really, really like this update to the user interface. Now, another change is that this section up here in the top has gotten a little bit more thinner. It's a little bit more streamlined. And so they moved a couple of things that were on this left-hand side, they moved it over to the right, specifically the view settings. So now your view settings are all the way over here before they used to be on the left-hand side. Not sure how I feel about that, but just know that if you were looking for your view settings, they've now moved over to the right. Now everything else appears to be intact. The functionality of the roadmap should still be pretty much exactly the same. You still gotta click the review changes button to push your changes. And really the only thing that changed is kind of more of like how you interact with some of the settings and some of the views, but all the functionality that you know and love about the advanced roadmaps is all there. Now in true consistency, instead of it being called an advanced roadmap, it's still a timeline. So this is kind of, again, now they're using the same design language from the basic roadmap, which is not just called the timeline, to this advanced roadmap, which is also not just called the timeline. I don't know, I couldn't find any solid documentation from Atlassian. Their documentation still refers to it as advanced roadmaps, but I don't see advanced roadmaps anywhere on here. So I'm just gonna call it the timeline advanced or advanced timeline. And one little bonus, there is a third change that is coming. Now I don't have access to this change because I'm not part of the EAP, the early access program, 
but some people were part of that and I actually got notification of this from one of the supporters of this channel. Alice, if you're watching, thank you very much for letting me know about this. But there is a change and actually it's gonna be a pretty big change. As a Jira admin, we've all been there before. Our users go in and hit delete on an issue and even though Jira tells them, hey, once you delete this, it's gone. It's gone forever and there is no undoing it and yet they still click on that red button and that Jira issue is deleted. Only moments later to have a change of heart and then ask you as a Jira admin to, hey, can you restore that issue that I just deleted? So you know that that's really not possible, but let me introduce you to Rewind Backups for Jira Cloud, an app made by my good friends over at Rewind. Now you'll be able to restore deleted issues. So even though your users don't follow the warnings that Jira gives them, Rest assured that using Rewind Backups for Jira Cloud, you'll be able to bring back those deleted issues. Use the link in the description down below to start a free trial. So in Jira, you may have noticed that this people section has already been renamed to teams. And so you can come and create teams. But if you've seen any of my videos or if you've seen anything about us talking about it in the Jira life, you know how I feel about this team section here because it's kind of useless. It's not very helpful and it doesn't work with the dedicated teams field that is available inside of Jira for your screens. Because for that field, for that shared Teams field that is actually the useful one, you only get it if you have the plans and you come down here to your view share Teams. But this is going away. Let me show you a quick article from Atlassian in the Atlassian community here where they basically discuss these changes that are coming. And so they are gonna be changing the Teams and they're basically unifying it, which is really, really good. I think that's a really, really good idea that they're finally going to make the share teams and the regular teams be one and the same. I think this is a much, much needed change. But unfortunately, as of May 15th, you can see here that the rollout has been paused and delayed for a short period of time, although it's been a couple months now. And so I'm getting a little bit worried that they might have hit a pretty big hiccup or a bump in the road. Now, if you were already fortunate enough to be in the early access program, then you probably already have this change. I unfortunately am not, so I don't get to see this change just yet. But at last, and if you ever want to add me to EAPs, you know how to get a hold of me. Let me know in the comment section or under reach out to me, and I'd be more than happy to be your beta tester for any and all features. Anyways, um, so this change is coming. Again, it's currently on pause, but it's something that you should, uh, I'll be linking this article in the description of this video, but I do recommend you check it out because the team's functionality in the advanced roadmap is really, really cool. I really like how they do it. And now that they're gonna unify the experience, then finally, maybe just finally, that team's functionality is gonna be a little bit more useful than what it currently is used for. Anyways, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Again, I just wanted to give you some updates on some of the changes you may or may not have noticed inside of your Jira, specifically with respect to the basic roadmap, which is now called the timelines, and your advanced roadmap, which is also now just called the timelines. So hopefully it's a little bit more clear and I'm excited for these changes. I, th I think streamlining the advanced roadmap is really just letting the whole thing feel more natural. I always tell people that the, you gotta treat the advanced roadmap kind of like a thing outside of Jira because it kind of sits like in a parallel world. So I'm really excited to see that at last is folding this all in to the same DNA. Is your company looking for a compliant backup solution for Jira Cloud? Then look no further than Rewind Backups for Jira Cloud made by my good friends over at Rewind. Rewind is proudly SLC2 compliant and data is encrypted in transit and at rest using TLS 1.2 and AES 256. Crush your security and compliance requirements and get started with a free trial of Rewind Backups for Jira Cloud. Use the link in the description down below. Anyways, that's it for this video. Let me know what you think. Have you noticed these changes? Have they impacted you for the good, for the bad, for the ugly? Let me know in the comment section down below. And then finally, if you've made it all the way to the end of this video and you haven't subscribed already, please consider subscribing as we're trying to hit 10,000 subscribers before the end of the summer. And we can only do that if you take a second right now and smash that subscribe button. That's it for this video and I'll see you in the next one. Love the chase and the hunt, and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want, and I always give it 100. Don't need